the time I turned 16. First one of my friends back then on his own set of keys. Well, on the way into town today, come up University Boulevard out here in Cottondale, we came by the VFW Club, which is actually the first place that I ever got up and sang my first song with my dad. And um, I wanted to follow in his footsteps. My dad's first song was uh, Going to California. It was released back in the late 70s and uh, did pretty well, you know, on the charts for back then. But uh, kind of goes like, uh, said she's going to California. Some old guy that she don't know said she's going there to live a while because life in Alabama's way too slow. At some point, I wanted to follow in his footsteps just and be the man that, you know, he didn't quite get to carry out. I think he died all too soon. I just want to follow in the footsteps of, of my dad. The reason I chose to come back to Tuscaloosa, Alabama and record this video here is because this is where I grew up. And um, I just feel like I owe the people here in Tuscaloosa for helping me become who I am, a country boy. Well, my early days in Nashville were pretty wide open. I was moved into town, and in about two weeks, I went to work at a famous honky-tonk down on what they call Lower Broadway, and I played just about every honky-tonk down there. That was the way I pretty much got my start, you know, as, as far as becoming a professional musician. But after about two years of playing at the little club downtown on Broadway called Tootsie's Orchid Lounge, I was approached by a couple of nightclub owners from down in Texas, the Cowboys, in Dallas, San Antonio, and Arlington, Texas. And they offered me the position to come down and headline their house band act. And um, as good as Texas was, and as many great people as I met down there, um, I woke to a phone call that said that my dad had passed away. Um, I moved back to Nashville and you know, really had that burning desire to be Glenn Templeton, the artist. I'm really looking forward to getting out and just really promoting, you know, Country Boys for Life and, um, you know, getting people to kind of see where I came from. Out of the first car that I had was uh, freedom like I'd never known. It was uh, windows down, no radio, just a jukebox in the floor, just a little boom box in the floor. But um, windows down, man, and just, you know, smell of dust in the air, you know, just a sense of freedom. This album is, it's a storyline of my life from, from childhood to present day, and it's an album that I feel like everybody can relate to. Everybody loves to see themselves 10 years ago, 20 years ago. And I feel like that this album is a, is a reflection of that. It's a re direct reflection of the way I've lived my life the whole time. And I think people are just really gonna get a good charge out of it and might even get a tear or two every now and then. Uh, might get a good laugh out of it. Um, but I think people can really relate this to their lives. Mark Lambert, who was, who's just been a great musical mentor of mine for the past, you know, seven years of my life. And we were really trying to figure out where we needed to take my career to, to take the next steps. And Mark taught me how to write songs about playing guitar and really how to be an artist. I couldn't have asked to have been in any better hands than the hands of Mark. I've been so many places in my life and time Sung a lot of songs, I made some bad rhymes. Leon Russell uh, 
Master Space and Time. That fella is so inspiring. And just hearing some of the songs that he wrote and, you know, how they inspire you to want to write better songs. And, man, I, I could just go on for days and days and days and just ramble about him, but he's just uh, such an inspiration. Um, I've seen, you know, numerous shows of Leon, and uh, I've always just been a big fan of it. His creativity and his ability to be able to, you know, to reach that audience. Leon Russell has been a big inspiration for a lot of musicians, and Leon has uh, opened a lot of doors and created some opportunity for me that, that he didn't have to do, but he loves me. And, you know, I love Leon. He's just, what a, I mean, how could you not? <laughs> but this industry is an unclimbable mountain that, you know, when you get to the peak of one mountain and to a certain level in your career, you can look out and there's a whole nother range of mountains that you've got to climb also. And that's what keeps you driving is to, how do I conquer that mountain? How do I conquer that mountain? And I want to be the guy who's always looking out and seeing that next range of mountains and always taking the opportunity, you know, and carting a horse, baby, and let's giddy up. <laughs>